So my name is Samir Dixit. I'm an infectious disease research scientist uh, working at my own organization in Nepal called Center for Molecular Dynamics Nepal, CMDN. CMDN is a research organization. It attracts funds nationally and internationally for different kinds of research, usually in the area of either public health or conservation. And Intrepid Nepal Private Limited or INPL is the private wing which handles the laboratory part. So after I came back from Australia, CMDN or INPL was just started immediately. I spent about four years working as an academic at Kathmandu University. As I was teaching in KU, it became even more evident that health research, especially infectious disease research, was lacking in terms of the, 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 the in-depth knowledge and in-depth research that needed to be carried out to understand what's happening around us. So when, we, when I came back from Australia, we started this drive towards promoting research in Nepal. And as I, as I explained before, in two areas, public health or biomedical research and conservation, wildlife conservation. So that has been um, my, um, let's say my career since I came back from Australia. So I was approached almost a year and a half ago to host this program, Good Morning Nepal. And initially, they talked to me, and I thought this was like you know, something, just, just, they were just talking. Why would they invite me, right? But then because of social media presence, and because I speak my mind out, because I'm not usually concerned by what other people say, I just speak. They felt that this kind of personality was important for this Good Morning show. Kind of television, when they advertise us, even in their YouTube channel, the way they have promoted us, in the tagline is three persons or three individuals from different wakes of life come together to host this show. So I come as a scientist in the public health arena. So I bring my own energy, my own knowledge base, and you know, having a little degree from Australia and, uh, and US and a higher degree, so I have a PhD. That is something you don't normally see on television. Going back to my memory of Wollongong University, it's been a while. I mean, I was there from 1995 to 1999, for four and a half years, where I did two degrees. I got a double master's. I did my immunology and also recombinant DNA technology under Dr. Or now Professor Mark Walker. And I remember each day almost as if it was yesterday. And Wollongong, uh, for me, holds memories in different layers. So for me, Wollongong University meant that this new frontier was going to be met at that point, at Wollongong University for me. I mean, Australia, education, from all angles, anyone going there, we should go there, especially Wollongong University. Good choice, I say.